Hey guys, it's Casey, and I'm going to show you how to capture the Google Click ID, often called the GClick parameter, as well as the Google Client ID. That's the ID that's stored in the Google Analytics cookie. Now, if you're not sure what either of those means, don't worry about it. You probably don't need to track it. But if you do know what they mean and you want to track it, then watch this video. So the first thing we'll need to do is go into Infusionsoft and go to your admin settings and let's create some custom fields. So under this area, do set up custom fields for a contact. And it's up to you whether you want to track only the, the Google Click ID, the GClick, or also the client ID. Uh, so if you want to track both, you know, create two different fields. If you want to create one, just create one field. It's up to you. Uh, so I have these are the fields that I'm going to store the click ID and the client ID in. So what we'll do is go into uh, to eye tracker, click advanced settings. At the bottom, there's a Google click ID and client ID setting. So just en enable both of these, and I've already selected the custom fields that I want to store this data in. And once you save this, uh, more specifically, once you save the client ID setting. This is going to take about 15 minutes to fully update. It, uh, once we regenerate your tracking code, we propagate it to a lot of CDN servers. So you'll have to clear your cache and cookies and all that stuff so that you'll get the newest and latest JavaScript file. But if you do the GClick tracking only, uh, that's pretty much immediate. So you don't really have to wait for that. But um, just to be safe, you could wait and clear your cookies and all that. All right, so we have this set up and they're both enabled. So we should, at this point, be tracking both of them. Now, I've already saved this and did this a long time ago so that we don't have to wait 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and taste, test it. I'm gonna go to staging.itracker.wpengine.com, which is my staging site. And I'm gonna, su I'm gonna you know, simulate a Google Click ID parameter being passed to my site. So this is the ID that we wanna capture. And basically, the lead source is going to be, you know, a Google CPC, uh, Google CPC, because we know it's a AdWords lead because there's a click ID, and then we'll capture this. And for the client ID, that is the value that's in this Google Analytics cookie. That's the like the web visitor ID that Google assigns to every visitor. So let's get started and sign up for the free version. And what I'm going to do is do click three at testing.com. That's going to be my test lead. And I'm going to verify I'm not a robot. So at this point, iTracker has captured the data and we're basically waiting for iTracker to push this data into this contact record. Uh, so let's go, in, so we have the contact record pulled up now. Let's go into iTracker and go to the API sync page to show you the data. So we have some data, it's pending, it's being scrubbed and processed. Here's the data we collected, which is a Google CPC lead. And here's the Google Click ID, along with the Google Client ID. So once you enable those advanced settings, you'll see these uh, fields here for whichever field you enabled. If you enabled both, you'll see both. If you only enabled one, you'll just see that one. Uh, so that's the data. We'll reload this page to see if we've paired it up with a contact, which we have. And right now, the only thing pending is the GOIP and tag based tracking and all that other stuff. But we should have already pushed this data into Infusionsoft. So we'll go back to the contact. We'll refresh this page. And let's go to the custom fields. So here's all the standard tracking fields that we collect. And then here's the Google Click ID that we captured along with the Google Client ID. So that's all you have to do to capture the Click ID and the Client ID. Now, if you're interested in preserving these field values, so for instance, you never want this click ID overwritten, what you can do is create an original GCLID or original click ID field. And what we can do is copy this value here and copy this value here. And these values will never be overwritten at all. So you'll always have the original click ID. Now this value could eventually get updated to another you know another value as they come in through you know other AdWords ads and things like that and if their client ID ever changes then this will get updated if they come through you know as a conversion but if you're curious on how do you preserve these custom fields with these original custom fields just go to the eye tracker advanced setting 
and on the left there's custom field preservation and uh, just map you know whatever original fields you set up and then once we process that HTTP postback the GOIP tracking and all that stuff that was pending just a, a second ago once we process that I'll show you what happens so let me refresh this page and I'll go to the eye tracker 360 tab here now notice all these fields got copied into their original field and these fields got copied into their original field as well. So these fields here will never get overwritten by iTracker, the ones, the original fields. We won't overwrite them. But these uh, other fields will get overwritten as multiple conversions happen. So anyhow, that's just a bonus on how to preserve it. But as far as capturing the Google Click ID and the client ID, um, real simple. Just enable those two settings, map it to your custom fields, and that's pretty much it. Thanks.